Hello everybody, welcome to the first tutorial in a very long line of tutorials on how to get a hand-drawn look in Blender or an anime style in Blender. This is the very first basic tutorial I'm doing and it has to do with just simple hand-drawn effects in Blender. Alright, so first the most important step is uh, you're just going to want to delete that default cube right out of there. And we are going to import our mesh of preference. This can actually be any mesh you want. It doesn't have to be a specific mesh. You can import any mesh you want. So for now, I'm just going to do the monkey and also known as Suzanne. And then I'm going to just move it up here. I'm going to do shade auto smooth and we'll add a subdivision surface because of course you have to with the monkey. Um, all right. Now we want to make this monkey look like it's hand drawn. So, the first step is to make sure you have your camera positioned. This is pretty important. Make sure your camera's on your subject. <clears throat> and we're going to go to Suzanne, and we're going to add a grease pencil stroke. All right, uh, it's spawned down there. I'm going to move that up so I can see it. Now, what I like to do is I like to press Tab, and I like to press A, and I like to just simply delete all the vertices in this stroke. Now, you notice it's still there. You can see it on the outliner up here still there in the scene. I can still move it around. There's just nothing really there. It's kind of like an empty. So with our stroke uh, selected, we are going to add a modifier. You notice these are the grease pencil modifiers. Um, they are very different from the mesh, or some of them are different from the mesh modifiers. But the first uh, modifier, hey, so uh, this is editing me. Uh, my dumbass forgot to mention you have to put the monkey in a collection. Uh, that's important. Put the monkey in a collection. Please. You have to do that because of the liner modifier. Just trust me. Put the monkey in a collection. Go back to our stroke. We're going to click monkey. And for our layer, we're going to click lines. Um, I've never messed around with colors. I don't know what it does, but for now, just click lines, ignore colors. Material, this is going to be our line color. We're going to click black. You can click any one of these or make a new material if you want. But we're just going to click black for now. And as you can see, this weirdness has occurred. Uh, it looks weird because the line art modifier actually projects from the camera view. So if we go over to camera, it looks great. Not great, but it looks better than it was. And as you can see, it only calculates using the camera. So if we move our camera uh, down here, you can see it doesn't calculate. Uh, the reason for this is because it's just really <clears throat> performance intensive and if you were to update it every time you rotated your viewport camera it would destroy your computer so it only calculates based on one camera um okay so now we're gonna make this look actually decent right now it looks pretty chunky and not great uh, now the way we're gonna do this is add um, a list of modifiers uh, grease pencil modifiers the first one is going to be, where is it? Dot dash. Um, dot dash is important. It creates dotted lines. Um, right now, it doesn't look great, but it will later. So I'm going to change dash to four, maybe the gap down to like 0.2 or something like that, just to kind of give it not necessarily a gap, but more of a rougher edge. If you really wanted to, it could change this to like a bigger number, and it kind of does that. For now, I think I'm going to go with like 6 and then 1 or like 0.5 or something. Uh, let's actually go 4, 0. Let's do 4, 0. That looks all right. Um, it's all about tweaking as well. Like this modifier stack is not going to be viable for all meshes. You're going to have to change it. But basically, we're going to add multiple strokes after this. And that creates a bunch of nonsense. Um, we're going to change this down to two duplicates and we're going to change the distance a little bit. Um, and while doing this, I realized these lines are too thick. So we're actually going to go up to line art and we're just going to knock those down. So something a little better. Now it still doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to change this a little bit, maybe up the duplicates and also turn on fade. Fade's pretty important. Um, so just kind of mess with these values until they look pretty good. Maybe turn that up. 
mess with that. Yeah, okay, that looks alright. <coughs> and now we are going to add the final modifier, which is the most important, and that's the noise modifier. Now, what uh, we're trying to do here is fake a hand-drawn style, fake a 2D style. And in 2D, usually, a lot of the frames are hand-drawn. Like, each frame is hand-drawn, and that means it's prone to human error. So that means each frame isn't really necessarily perfect, or doesn't translate perfectly to the next, which is kind of the charm of hand-drawn. Um, and in Blender, to replicate that, we have the noise modifier, which is basically the displacement modifier, but for the grease pencil. So you'll notice if I press play on my playhead, uh, it changes every time, like someone's drawing it every frame, which is super helpful. Uh, right now, the randomize is set on uh, step four, so every four frames, it's gonna change. Um, you can change this to whatever you want. I like to use one, um, and um, we'll get into that later. But for now, we're just gonna use four. So you have that, right? And then it's a little strong, so we'll turn it down a bit, I think. And then also, we're going to add something equally important called the build modifier. This is like the mesh build modifier, where you can, you know, build your mesh. Um, but we are going to do factor and do this. Maybe move this uh, down a little bit and kind of get rid of some of that um multiple strokes and maybe we move it above the noise oh that doesn't seem to do anything also modifier order matters in grease pencil just letting you guys know and yeah maybe maybe do this huh yeah, yeah that looks all right and of course with all of these you're gonna have to mess around with them obviously um like each one is different depending on the mesh so if i had a different mesh i would uh, change these settings to be something kind of different. It just is a case-by-case -case study. Um, just depends, really. But this is the main base modifier stack I use. Um, and <clears throat> to better highlight how this looks 2D, it's probably better to hide our mesh. Uh, now, you notice if we actually just hide it like this, our line art's going to go away. Um, so we can't do that. Instead, what we have to do is we are going to go over to shading. All right, and we are going to do a new shader. Now, instead of just our normal shader, we're gonna delete this. We're going to add a transparent BSDF. Just hook that up to the surface, and it's not working. That's because we have to set our material to blend mode alpha blend, right? Boom, now it's working, all right? Now we have somewhat of a 2D looking monkey. Uh, we can oh, we can do the mesh. We can rotate it around. It looks fairly good from either angle. You get this really sketchy, nice hand-drawn look. Um, I'm sure if you messed around with the shader, you could probably get it to look even better. I'm sorry, not the shader, the uh, modifier stack. So let's see. Let's adjust some problems. It's looking a little too jaggedy. I think multiple strokes might be the culprit. Maybe noise. Maybe we do some of this, noise scale, mm, maybe change that a little bit, maybe not too much, thickness, uh, maybe, I think we just need the distance to be farther in, ah, there we go, yeah, that's looking a little better, dot dash, maybe we do this, change this up to like 15 to 1, or like 3, yeah, so notice now we have a smoother look instead of a little sketchier look. We can make it a little sketchier by increasing this as well. Um, we can also make it sketchier by decreasing dot dash down to like two and like that. Actually, that is not a great look. Oh yeah, there we go. We put it to zero and we put it to two. Um, just mess around with the settings and it'll give you a bunch of different results. We go to four, we go up to here. Um, we can go to gap 5 and then go all the way up here and get like that. We can just do a bunch of things. Um, and that's what's great about this modifier. We can also go to build, change just so much stuff. Do that. 
change it to a much lighter look or we can go much heavier it just depends and also what's great you can just animate it and blender draws it for you fantastic uh it's probably better highlighted if i go to render view and i change the world to black and what i like to do is change my line art instead of black change it to white and that looks pretty damn good like white on the black background oof, it looks pretty good sometimes um you can see um this example used in my jet animation i'll put that up on screen uh and this one you can see i use the white on the black background she's walking uh it's great looking i used basically the same modifier stack that i used here uh i basically just use line art dot dash multiple strokes noise build get that great look um it does look a little cg that's just because of the mesh i think the monkey mesh is very curvy and not very natural for like a cartoon style but i feel like it overall works in fact it might be better if we turn off subdivision surface oh that's interesting that is a much different look but yeah if you do subdiv turn that down you can get a different look it's just all in the mesh you know uh it just depends and yeah uh, that's going to be it for our first example. Uh, that's how you create kind of this sketchy look. If you want it black on white background, you just turn this to white and change this back to black. And now you get kind of like a, well, let's turn the strength down a little. You kind of like a paper hand-drawn look, like it was drawn on paper, blueprint look. But yeah, that's how you do that. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.